right, we're looking at the new GX 750 watt power supply from Cooler Master today. Very nice uh, 80 plus series certified high end power supplies. They're SLI certified, they're Crossfire certified. Very, very nice stuff from Cooler Master. Uh, and they have some pretty nice design features. They look really good uh, and plenty of connections. Uh, and it's pretty new, so let's take a look at it. Uh, now, right off the bat, very nice uh, design. It is an ATX form factor. It's not too big, not too small. Uh, it has a single 120 millimeter fan uh, right there. Super, super silent. Uh, it does, it is variable. It depends on the uh, temperature of the PSU. It'll change uh, the RPMs of the fan, but it's basically almost silent. I could almost not hear it when I first turned it on. When it was fully loaded for a while, it cranked up a little bit. You could hear it, but very, very quiet, especially for a 750 watt power supply. Um, now let's talk a little bit about the design of the internals on here. Uh, it's really nice because it's a single rail design. Now multiple rail systems, you know, there's always an argument about what you like better, but um, if you're using a single large graphics card or even if you're using two large graphics cards uh, and you're not doing, you know, any type of extreme overclocking, a single rail design is really, really good. Uh, it's giving you 60 amps on the single volt, uh, 12 volt rail. Uh, take a look, zoom, zoom in here. I want to show these guys uh, basically the chart that gives you all uh, your amps and your wattages. Um, so basically what you're looking at is on your 12 volt rail, you're pulling about 60 amps, which is 720 watts, and you're getting a total of 750 when you add in the negative uh, 12 plus five uh, volts and then the plus 3.3 volts. Uh, now, next thing I wanna talk about is over here. Let's look at the harness. Now this is not a modular power supply. So basically uh, you have a ponytail and you are gonna be getting uh, all the connections. So uh, there's good points about that and there's bad points. The bad points is that you have to figure out how to keep this entire uh, ribbon, this entire ponytail organized inside your case uh, and basically you have to hide the ones that you don't use. But uh, the fact that there's uh, less connections means there's less impedance, you're going to cleaner power, you can get a higher overclock. So if you're serious about performance, you want to use these non-modular power supplies. Now, let's talk real quick about the plugs just so you know what's on here. Uh, first of all, you have a 20 uh, plus 4 right here. So this is going to be your main uh, power supply for the motherboard. Uh, as far as uh, these go, these are your 6 plus 2 pin uh, PCI Express and you have four of these in total so you can definitely run uh, two-way SLI on most cards. If you had some older cards that, that required um, dual 8 pins, that would still work and there's not a lot of power supplies that do that. Uh, triple SLI though is not going to happen so uh, be careful with that. This is not a monster power supply for triple SLI. Uh, so you have four of these. Uh, let's see, what's next? Molexes. Here are the Molexes. There's only three of these which is actually kind of cool. Uh, you don't always need that many Molexes. Uh, so basically there's three uh, right here and that is it as far as Molexes go. Uh, now let's go to, uh, here you go, these are SATA. Uh, there's nine SATAs so this would be a good uh, power supply for somebody who has a lot of hard drives or a lot of SSDs. Uh, you could even use this for a server because there are so many uh, of those. Uh, now somewhere in here there is a uh, floppy connection, but I almost don't want to show it to you. Yeah, here it is. I don't know why. I mean, kind of pointless. Uh, and that's basically all the important stuff. Uh, and then of course there is uh, somewhere in this mess, of course, the 12-volt motherboard connector, uh, which is actually a 4 plus 4 stick. It can either be a 4-pin uh, or an 8-pin. Now, the older motherboards use a 4-pin. Uh, the new ones use an 8-pin. Now, uh, next, let's talk a little bit about mean time between failures, because it's very important for power supplies. Um, some power supply manufacturers have a lower price, and they're giving you a power supply that's designed to work maybe 25 to 50,000 hours, uh, which is pretty good, but this one is designed to be 100,000 hours mean time between failures. Um, so that's really, really good. That basically means that it can run nonstop for over 11 years without dying. That's very long. It's running at 24-7, uh, and out of those 11 years, it's covered by uh, warranty for five of those years. So it's a really impressive warranty by Cooler Master. They did a great job um, offering uh, that five-year warranty. So very, very nice. Uh, and then finally, I want to talk to you about uh, some of the features that it has as far as internal features um, for protecting your computer now has overvolt protection, has undervolt protection, it has short circuit protection, it has over temperature protection uh, and over power protection. So basically if anything's happening uh, outside of your uh, computer and inside your electric system in your house something is going wrong, well that is going to help you. Also if something goes wrong inside the power supply and for whatever reason it's supposed to be uh, there's a failure, uh, it's, you're not going to overcurrent your uh, motherboard which would fry your processor, fry your motherboard 
perhaps even fry your video cards if it was a, a large enough current spike. Um, and it's going to protect you from that. It's also going to protect itself from over temperature. So if it gets too hot, it's going to shut down automatically, which is really nice because that can help stop a fire. Um, <coughs> so that's basically it. It's fully certified by all, uh, basically all the uh, certifications that it can get. Uh, I couldn't tell you what those are. Let's see. Uh, it would probably say here it's 80 plus certified, CE certified, RU certified, SEC certified, PCT certified, CCC S and E certified, and uh <coughs> it's TUV Rhineland product safety certified, which is the German uh, version of the FCC. Uh, so basically, a fully, fully uh, certified power supply. It's extremely efficient. It's extremely quiet. Uh, just the fact that it's in the 80 plus uh, section is really good. And this one is actually 85 percent plus efficient so I think that's a bronze or s close to silver but uh, very very efficient power supply if you want something that's not too expensive because it's not modular you're all about the performance you're not going to be going too crazy you're not going to be doing triple SLI you're going to do a single card or two cards you're not going to be pulling over 60 amps this is the perfect power supply for you it's small it's compact it doesn't have a lot of extra molexes which you're never going to use and that's kind of forward thinking because power supply manufacturers have always provided tons of Molexes because they're powering the hard drives with the Molexes as well as the peripherals. But nowadays, I mean, who has more than two DVD burners and maybe a fan controller that uses Molex? That's it. You don't use it anymore. ID drives are dead. Everyone uses SATA. Uh, so it's very forward thinking by Cooler Master and they made a great, great power supply. Uh, so if you have any questions on it, it's the GX 750 watt from Cooler Master. Uh, feel free to email me and that's it. I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Cooler Master GX Series 750 watt power supply, type in C283 3058 into any major search engine.